Hey everybody, Cranky Gun Reviews here, just doing a short ammo update. Maybe some of you guys are getting sick of this, but I always get lots of views and I always get comments on these, so I might as well keep doing them. Uh, on my online retailer, I saw some Telamo 9mm pop up the other day. It was like $13.40 a box. By the time I saw it, there was only nine boxes left. So I threw those in my shopping cart and bought them. So I have nine boxes of this 115 grain full metal jacket steel case. Uh, I have no problem with this stuff. I know a lot of people shoot steel case ammo. A lot of people hate steel case ammo. This particular model, um, and I know Wolf resells some of this stuff, but this particular one, the steel cases are kind of slippery. And I've never had a problem with these. They're always reliable. They function in just about everything I've put them in. So as long as they function in my guns, and it's the least expensive ammo you can buy, plus the fact that I don't know how longer, how much longer this stuff's going to be coming into the country, I will continue to buy this when I see it. Uh, again, when I go to the range, like if I take out my Ruger PCC carbine, I'll probably shoot two or 300 rounds in an afternoon. So this is to restock what I shoot and keep a little bit of my stock going. Again, you never know what's going to happen in the near future with ammo prices. They come down for a couple of weeks, then they go up. I know 223 and 556 have kind of plateaued. Like I said in my last video, around 60 cents a round. So I'm still watching prices here and there. I'm not buying nearly as much as I used to, but if I see a good deal, I'm still going to jump on it. This stuff, again, Cabela's has been having this in stock, I think around $42 a box or $40 a box for 500 rounds. Not the cheapest stuff that's out there, but it's good, reliable 22. That's a 38 grain hollow point. So I bought one box of that in the last week. I got this Aguila 38 Special, 130 grain. Um, this is the cheapest I found 38 Special. Uh, the past few weeks, I'd bought a couple of boxes of that Winchester White Box, 130 grain. Those were $30 a box. These were $25 a box. So I bought four boxes of that. I mean, 25 and change, like 25 48 or something, but cheapest I found this stuff, so I bought four boxes of that. If this is still in stock next week, I may buy a couple more boxes. And then again, Aguila 380 Auto. This stuff was right around $20.45 a box for 50 rounds, so I bought five boxes of that. And again, it's not so much that I'm stockpiling ammo because I'm panic buying. People have their own opinions, whether they say I'm panic buying or not. It's You don't know what's going on in my head. I am a little bit of a prepper. I like to have a stock to make sure if anything happens, I can still shoot and I can protect my family. So this is what I picked up in the last couple of weeks. Actually, the last week, really. Um, just figured I'd let you guys know. It seems like Aguila is really pumping the ammo out. And I've never really had an issue with Aguila. So I have no problem buying more of it. Like I said, this Telamo... When it shows up, I will continue to buy that. Sad thing is, this stuff used to be about seven dollars, six or seven dollars a box. Now it's double that when you can find it. Um, but still decent ammo. I wish I had bought more of it when it was cheap. I wish I'd bought a couple of cases of it a couple of years ago. You know, wouldn't hurt to have two or three thousand rounds of that stuff in stock, but I'm gonna pick up what I can when I can. So have a great night from Cranky Gun Reviews. It's just a little short ammo update. Keep the faith. Keep strong. Make sure you support your two-way rights. God bless America. Get out there and shoot when you can. And you remember, if somebody tells you to give up some of your rights for the greater good, you remind them that freedom is the greater good. Have a great day.